Ugh. Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. Ah. It's so... lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah. We've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Good, you unlocked it. Stuff. Smells the same as the toilet. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Ugh. Gross. 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 It isn't a piece of eight. But it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a, a fake coin. It's almost as good as a real coin. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm? What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy! What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I'm returning the key. You want a medal? Ha! 
That's my friend D. Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. Hey, Chucky. Want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days you have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your... Gotta run! How rude. Let's be frank, you can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien scorbut. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used and they started making then people the current bullshit, but the old you can still on a modern ink bats to prevent the little flange most anchors the about 30 all oh, cut. But the only the word anchor they're called yeah. <sighs> I can stand on my head without using my hands. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Whoops. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. I found one. Awesome. There was still one left? Darn. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I wish D would disappear. What? Hey, neat. Ouch. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. 
We got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures! We just did Big Whoop! Big Whoop? Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asks me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. A long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? The Chuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. 
Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's keen on bluntness. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? Just a humble pirate, unworthy to be in your august presence. And yet... Here you are. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. A percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great, problem solved. Excellent, you'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. 
I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Uh, I like the old pirate leaders better. How clever. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck. No relation. What a coincidence. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? Oh, trust me, that is the easy way. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye 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 first. Bye. Bye. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. They're having a half-off sale. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. 
Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Hmm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Too bad it's empty. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. Not for me. Everything spilled out of it in a puddle. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Hey, Wally. Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Well, I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. Bye. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santo Domingo. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. 
you know, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't bring grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well... Tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single, perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Wally. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Tell me again what you need to make me a map to the mop tree. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. Bye. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Oh, I'd like this knife. 
An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, uh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh-huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. The product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not. It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. Ah. Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called, or know what's in it, or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. Stay away from my mop! Well, it's definitely a mop. Stay away from my mop! Chuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. 
Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid. And Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? I assume you'll be here when I get back? Don't tease me, Guybrush! I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Watch your boots in here, son. It's Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Hey, Stan! Hello there, son! I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People! People are in my heart! Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. See you later! Yep! I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Welcome to my shop. Hi there. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. 
No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. How's your day going? No thanks, I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. No thanks, I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. You look like you're having a good... seems to be stuck closed. Brush three wood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Anything but your cooking. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, but it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. You've come far since I got you your first cushy government job. I hope you're not about to try to take credit for me being governor, because that would be both absurd and obnoxious, and I might have to skewer you for it. <clears throat> no, no, furthest thing from my mind. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? I've got my own project cooking. Of course you do. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? Huh. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that 
so-and-so, Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. <laughs> I've come for a recipe, a dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? I do yeah. host plenty of functions, but I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you're talking about. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. I like your stuff, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Thing. It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. As shown by your actions at Santo Domingo, Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. Honoring Melee Island's 27th Governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santo Domingo. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Hey! 
watch it. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's keen on bluntness. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. As shown by your actions at Santo Domingo, please accept my humblest apology. Scare the heck out of me. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. Dear Carla, I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful. Considering it's you, I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book. And I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. What's it going with that nightmare customer guy? My stomach feels like it's full of cannonballs and splintered rowboats. Good news, I have a cookbook. I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. This will be excellent. Brilliant innovation. He'll... <laughs> Keep your hands off my mop. Ingredients, well, indeed. It's definitely a mop. Thank you. 
better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Hey, Wally. I found this sliver of wood. Can you use this to make the map to the mop tree? Looks legit. I'll see what I can do. Here it is. Thanks, Wally. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Flowers. These must be left. It's like there's a welcoming committee. Mind your mama, little prick the kids. Wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. I'll take a shortcut back. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. If one monocle is good, two is better. This was a good idea. They magnify stuff even better since I stuck them together. 
Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. It's cracker mix. Some assembly required. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. Wally. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. Welcome back. Hi. Oh, I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. Hello again. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the serial number and give it to me. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. The display case is locked. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Looking good. I like things neat. That's folded perfectly. That'll do, Parrot. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Welcome back. Please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it. me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. 
people around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. But it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Wow, that's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. It's a dried up old sea sponge. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. Classic and subtle, like me, but I don't need to be wearing this right now. I've always been impressed by your chair. Thank you. What do you make of this eye patch? The famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If... If... If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right, let's see what I can do. A classic specimen of Alata needleus, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Gotcha, you pointy little tricky fight. Never mind. I never do. There you go. Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient powerful charm or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks.
Calm, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B-Y-O-M. So. Show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick. Blobby spongy pad. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Chuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here, you sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice! A cruel and vengeful deity! I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But, no! What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> uh, 
uh, what if I need to, um, you know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hole sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. I can't see much through this thing. Yep. Yep. I wonder what it's made out of. <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? Uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plague me now just as before. The curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, Withered Zombie Man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Looks like you missed a spot. Aww. I'll just put a little dab on there. tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. Better. Uh, uh. The grease helps. A little. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Oi, you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Uh, it's working. I can't see anything. Blah, 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 
feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yay. Yay. Yeah. The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? It doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. Okay. I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there! In the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. We met about an hour ago. While Iron Rose was introducing me around. I'm the new Swabby. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Can I have a rings? Sure. Straight into the rigging where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then. Meeting adjourned. We'll finish the potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Aha! You're out and about! Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. I really think you should come with me. No. I can get you close to LeChuck. Hmm. I would very much like to be able to spy on LeChuck himself. <laughs> very well. You may transport me. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, I barely touched it. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. 
Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Well, the potion smells like it's ready to go. It's just missing the flattened skull. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Monkey Island. Why are you out of the open? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... I... I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know a chap like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! Bay, ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island! Okay. undercut my three, I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull. I've got an idea. Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. I have an amazing idea! Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail! No, 
We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. I'm a little surprised to hear this. You shouldn't be. But so far, you haven't struck me as the brightest candle in the box. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Not so far. Aren't you curious about what the secret might turn out to be? Not really, no. Most secrets turn out to be either disappointing or disturbing. That's why people cover them up in the first place. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. As a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside? I don't know, that's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Swabby, come over here. Ye be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Swabby is fine. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team-building exercise. I won't. What? Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby! That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me, at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So, I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. What do you want, Swabby? I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. 
Some say it's grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not! It's paperwork. Ghost rats. Ugh. Flare? What? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back, right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. Well, Chuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. So, Putra. Chef, Putra, please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never, but they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit him in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. Disgraceful. Please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. It's like no one on the 
this ship has heard of recycling. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Chef Putra, you're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. That's Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby. Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me. The Chuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. <laughs> if I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. Working hard? Never. 
let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Uh, about your vote. It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. But hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You want me to scratch your back? <sighs> Figure of speech. No need to burn yourself. Do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Keep up the bad work. Always. Chef, what exactly is a scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. I don't suppose you know how to make scorched Alaska? Of course I can make scorched Alaska. I have to warn you though, it's not going to be very spicy. Why is that? I'm totally out of demon pepper. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. Looks like it's empty. Ready for cannon firing. This should make it good and scorchy. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet, poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. Seals me inside, like a lost love. A masterpiece. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so... Uh, let's just say I'll vote you away next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm, 
so unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. Nah, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're gonna vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I can come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? No ring the bell yourself. One bell, voting hour! Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island? Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Back straight, you shifty, feckless parasites! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 flay you on a line. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, keel hole, blah, blah, walk. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. The map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. In conclusion, shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass! All right, same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous.
We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. <gasps> yes. Hey! All right. <laughs> Oops. I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. Let's make this quick. I've got an appointment with a secret. I'll cover that meeting. Your innards have a prior engagement with the tip of my sword. Okay. Decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all swagger and no dagger. I've got plenty of dagger. Blast! Yeah. Oh. Hey, cheating! I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you! That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Goodbye, <laughs> Freepwood. Wow. Good thing I can still hold my breath for 10 minutes, more or less. Is it more or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for 10 minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time I heard you say 12. Which one is it? Well, my prime, I could do 10 minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock.
that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. Murray? Is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh, it's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this, in case I ever take up skull juggling. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. Well, the age old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. It says the sea monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1! Wow! The Sea Monkey brought me adventure and fame! Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Uh, either that, or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. It's them. I better just stay back and eavesdrop. Can't you just break the security? Taught you a good at this stuff. Keep talking and you'll find out how good I am. Any place, anywhere, any place. Why aren't we waiting in the jungle? Because I need to finish setting up the ritual here. You can go ahead if you want to. And leave you two to plan behind me back. Me don't think so. Three. Though truly it is I, Murray, and I alone who possess the cunning necessary to achieve victory. You keep out of it or I'm hiding your jawbone again. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I... I do like honey, but I don't want to escalate the situation. Secret this way. That's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Oh! That's not LeChuck. 
LeChuck is a greenish, shouty guy with a beard and a big hat. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets, but I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? How about his lookout's favorite food? I know that one. Not helpful. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. You could just ask him? Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. We could ask his crew about all that stuff? We thought of that. But they are on the ship, and it's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map, and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer, and I won't make it again. In or out. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey head if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Partner, we're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I haven't found his catchphrase. Did you search for clues on his ship? Maybe not the whole ship. I haven't found his theme song. I'm not sure he's even got one. With an ego the size of LeChuck's? <laughs> he's definitely commissioned something. I haven't found out what his favorite food is. Remember, it's not enough just to know what it is. We need some of it for the ritual. Oh, right. You may have mentioned that. Did you check with his cook? I haven't even been back on board the ship. I'll, uh, get back to it. Be quick about it. Bye, partner. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. Ah, I guess not. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. It's a soaked skull. I'm sensing pure evil here. More than what's reasonable for an ordinary sea creature.
Throwing him down with just me thoughts. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. Don't oh, wait. Hold oh, only joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Germs. Oh yeah, that could work. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. Resentment. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Snack. Right, uh, of course, very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even asking. It's not your secrets I'm interested in, after all. Enjoy your evening. You're leaving without, without helping me. When I get out of here, I'm going to eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. I've got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poetry. That, that'd be fantastic. But I'm a little inconvenienced at the moment, you know, stuck on the rudder and all that. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend? I'd be happy to do that. And, uh, uh, let's just keep this a secret between us, if you don't mind. <laughs> Mum's the word until they're announced. Read some of Gullet's poetry? Ugh, I'd rather swallow a bucket of live bees. But thanks. Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I'm worried LeChuck's crew will recognize me at the ship. I had a disguise before, but it's gone now. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Oh, I already found a secret thing from one of the crew. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Like chomping worms or colorful germs. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect! Qui doloram ipsum, quia dolor citamet, 
Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. Come back soon, partner. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Like chomping worms or colorful germs, ideas fill my head. The poems flow as resentment grows, creatively undead. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. I'm still feeling the sting of your knife. I got the knife back, so you let me know if the feeling fades. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. You just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. <laughs> You tough old slab of crocodile meat! Somehow I knew you'd make it back! Can I fix you something to eat? Well, I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash. You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Well, I've got work to do. Right.
like chomping worms or colorful germs. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with this? That's a nice one. Have it for you in a jiff. Bon appetit. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. I'd rather not, honestly. It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. Deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. One bell, voting hour. What's going on? I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Okay. It's sheet music. Something like that. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. Waste of time. Hope my soup didn't burn. Remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood. You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I think I know LeChuck's catchphrase. Well? It occurs to me that if I tell you the secrets before we do whatever ritual thing it is you're planning, I lose all my leverage. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Threepwood! I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas.
I wonder if this arm bone has anything to do with anything. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Labores nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Plunder? My blasphemous? Cutlasses. Quis atem vel veleptate velit. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Oof. Okay. <gasps> wow. Look, there are lines on it. It's working. Magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? Let's take a vote on kicking me off the cliff. Aye. Aye. I... Nay! You've been voted off the island. No. Oh. And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. It came from over here somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> Uh, 
I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? Uh, it only hurts when I breathe. Still, best to keep that up, I think. If I have to. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. I can't compete with LeChuck or Madison, let alone both. They've got crews. They've got ships. They've got supernatural magic powers. I've got some crackers and two monocles. And your charming personality. Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say that? Hello? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? I must have hit my head. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? You can do the goopy parts. Race you to the ship! Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. That's still the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. No, actually, it's now the third biggest. Well, fourth if you include the underwater one. Slowpoke, you had a head start. Should we get started? Ready when you are. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me.
Well, we did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life! I've been searching for the secret since before you were born! That's exactly my point! Finding the secret is a young pirate's game! Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine! Only if you don't have a heart attack first! Ha! Last chance to give it up! Then we obliterate you! Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and... We join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Someone to face Delane's scurvy flyer. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Can't you read my mind? No need. I can read your face well enough. The secret is where you suspect it is inside the large safe near the front door. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh. But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her, and she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. 
It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. A contract. Signed in blood. With gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers. But I make no promises. Ah! You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Hold on to that feeling. I am wider lean bones. Whitey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys, hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have, just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe... I talk partnership. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? Are you sure I can't borrow your golden key? How many keys you got yourself, boy? Uh, none. Come back when you've got more than I got. Maybe we can talk partnership then. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Welcome to the God's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block. And the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy, or just pass the time, we don't mind. 
Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Mm. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. The shop seems nice. If by nice, you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't ya? What's that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's mm. flag? That's what I said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Hmm. Can I join the Chums? Well... I can tell a good story. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time? I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burping contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. Hi, <laughs> well done. I hereby declare this a draw. still here. The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. <laughs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palate. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. <laughs> hey. 
Hello. Ooh, that was refreshing. Ooh. Hey, how about a burping contest? <laughs> Always. Winner keeps the blowfish. An absolute ripper! I hereby declare you the winner! The blowfish is yours! Hi there. Hiya! Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Then Morgan knocked me out and sold me to my enemies. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. What happened to your mother's golden key? As you can see from the letter I gave you, the court destroyed the key. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. If it is a key, could you duplicate it? I'm not sure you're supposed to take it literally. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Hey, Guybrush! Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No, Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people.
<laughs> You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet plumed point and snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, had me fooled. Elaine? Are you decent? Hello? Hi, I'm working due east of the waterfall and due north of Driftwood Beach today. Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? Hi, I'm working due east of the waterfall and due north of Driftwood Beach today. Hi. Hi. I was hoping I'd run into you again. I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? There was a complication. Isn't there always? A big, heavy, rectangular complication with five keyholes and a secret inside. Well, that sounds daunting. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush! You've joined the chums! I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. 
The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Then Morgan knocked me out and sold me to my enemies. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? OK. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I made a fishing line with my own hair. Then Morgan knocked me out and sold me to my enemies. I think you've got it. Well, I think this is really good for you. You should find some other chums to share your gift with. I'll do that. I hear these can help prevent scurvy. You heard right. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Wow, Elaine sure has been busy. I've already got plenty of limes. The bird has a torn picture in its nest. Is that a picture of me? Ah, that bird needs an attitude adjustment. Oh, that bird needs an attitude adjustment. I've already got plenty of limes. If, if that's what you can call that. Made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Mr. Elaine Marley. Fill this out and be completely honest. Let's see how you've done. You forgot to check that you're carrying limes. I'll check that for you. Hmm, good answer. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay, this looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. A bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. I submit these official-looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated.
Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I made a fishing line with my own hair. Then Morgan knocked me out and sold me to my enemies. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with the hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. Not a half bad story. You know who you should talk to. There's a crazy old yardarm hanger, Bob something. I think he sails with Captain LeChuck. Apple Bob. Sounds right. Thanks. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? It's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Roaring fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. Your queenliness? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush three-foot, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. From when she was governor of Melee? That was before I won my throne, but she does keep her hand in. And both feet. 
What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Is that one of the golden keys on your head? Welded to my crown. That's correct. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Naturally, you'll want to have that cleaned once in a while. It stays perfectly clean as long as I don't let greasy pirates put their paws all over it. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. Rest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. Three trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. They're contests. I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mío. Another challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the Contest of Heartiness. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is Slimehead. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. I can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Time's up. I'll take your papers. I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threeput is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. One contest down, two to go. Today's contest of hardiness will feature Slimehead.
hello. Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now. Thanks. So far, so good. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head, so it would burn underwater. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. Dazzling. You weave a story like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Hello. How's it going, mm. chums? You have the confident look of a man with a story in his belly, just squirming to get out. But you really should show us the lure for official chums business. We like ritual in the chums. It's part of the fun. I'd like to buy some fish. That's an excellent life decision, me lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Slimehead. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. That's a fine story, but it doesn't sound like a tale told by an angler, truth be told. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Greetings, fellow chum. 
Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden, mm, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself, grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. Is it all right if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. Seriously? Sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. They were all in on it, but Threepwood was the ringleader. First, he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing us to sing musical notes against our will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot, and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. Right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. Elaine was here to help me set up a program, but there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so... What's it for? I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date. She did? That's fantastic. I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room. Excuse me, lots to plan. It's only slightly singed. Carla, am I okay if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. For 
he's even better than half off. Halfway better. Thanks a lot. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Oh well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Stan's building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. I see you've made some improvements. Yeah, the museum is now the proud owner of one of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. There are only three known to exist. It's a real score, incredibly valuable. Wow, sure hope nobody steals that. I've doubled my security. You can't be too careful. Whoa, that's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Gotta hmm. get Mum would be proud. Crisp, crisp. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make do things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. I'll make this quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. Hey Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's your joke book back. These groves go on forever. Ah, that bird needs an attitude adjustment. That ought to give it some zip.
This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Hello. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? A new box of slime heads. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend stand together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Pitches are for baseball, son. I make introductions. I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Trans- And No, thanks. Don't wait too long, they're selling like hotcakes. How about I bust you out of here? I might or might not know a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records, well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can handle the shackles until then. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. 
I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? Why do demons have horns on their heads? Because they're too uncomfortable under the arms. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm not confiscating this. Only one more contest to go. That ought to give it some zip. In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Odina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! Yeah! And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood, aka Mr. Elaine Marley. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Mm. Ah. And now, let the eating commence! Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Squad is Mr. Threepwood! <laughs> Mm. 
citizens of Bermuda. Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guy Bruce Threepwood, has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Honor and dignity? The queenship is not an a la carte position. Okay, sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Can I ask about the obey part? I mean, if I'm queen... The queen is also a citizen. Fine, I'll do it. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? That. Okay, I guess so. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Is there a flex time option? I have other commitments. You may sleep between the hours of 11 and 4. Oh, all right. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I have to write my memoirs. <laughs> Um, as your queen, I've decided to reshape the government as a worker-owned collective. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Threepwood? Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the key. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. a mop, would you? Not anymore. I see. No problem. I don't actually need one. I was just curious. Could you come to the ice quarry on Bermuda to talk with Stan about your pamphlet? Oh no, I couldn't possibly go there. Bad optics. He'll have to come here. It's a prison though. Him not leaving is sort of the main idea. How long till he's out? A month. That's not so bad. Are you sure you can't come talk to Stan at the ice quarry? Absolutely sure. He'll have to come here. Okay. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a... seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. 
Love you. You too. Stay back! I can see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? Do obnoxious talking skulls count? No. Then yes, I'm alone. I heard that. I'm Ned Filigree, accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Stan is serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Simply no need. So you confirm that you deny possession of Stan's records? What? Yes. I mean, no. I confirm nothing. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Who is it you're afraid of? Stan, of course. Stan Stanman. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah! What's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get ten years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh goodness! Can I have the picture? Not now, I'm packing. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. It's a sculpture of yours truly. My jawline has never looked so chiseled. Order, order in the court. The court has previously recognized Ned's depth of knowledge in accounting. Do not waste the court's time by submitting redundant evidence. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Can Your Honor please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, Section H, Subsection G, Parenthesis E. I see. N section U, parenthesis E, parenthesis I, I, subsection A, parenthesis B. 
Okay. And section S parenthesis T parenthesis F subsection U. I withdraw the question. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guybrush Threepwood. If I don't get order, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned! This should clear up any issues about who I am. Do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are Ned Filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal? Damn straight. Order. Order in the court. There will be no more outburst of profanity in this courtroom. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. What's up, Stan the Man? I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. Welcome back. Hi there. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. Hey, boy. Got a warning for you. A warning? You're in danger. A stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. I've got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Remind me who took your key? Some stocky little ghost pirate lady. I didn't recognize her. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Stanarino! Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years! Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the lines. There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. I 
I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Sublimes. Let's not get too clever, son. Remember the target market. Razor bombs it is. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if razor bombs could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush. That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Irresistible charm? You've already got that. Aww. Everybody wants to be charming. That's perfect. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that. Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Bite these. Almost too meaningful, but I think we can work with it. This is your new flyer. Show people this and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. I'll just borrow this for a little while. I pinched a yak with it once, and then I, it obviously means something to Elaine, too. Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My mom's gardener's second cousin's pastry chef says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Razor bombs, the new amazing miracle fruit. Ah, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic. Have you got any of these miracle razor bombs? Sure thing, right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Bite these, and welcome aboard!
The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. This is certainly exciting. Watch out below! This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. My lungs are full of delicious air again. Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. <sighs> it's not my fault. They shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. I'm not even mortal, and I'm feeling the minutes tick away. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps.
it says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. I can't quite get it off of there. Okay, it's lit. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Wow, neat! It's magic! The pit of agony lies ahead. That's promising? It looks really deep. Okay, here goes. Oh no, the lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water, fire. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a close one. I'll have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire.
This must be Whitey's stolen key. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. Okay, here goes. cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah! Whew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. It's a golden key. No touching! You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So. Get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key! If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good! As long as it's escape first, key afterward. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Just give me the key already. Now! Give me the key! Now! Oops! I 
I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. That's the last key. Voodoo Shop, here I come. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Threepwood has all the keys! That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same for you, however. Ah, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. The moment of truth is at hand. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Easier than I imagined, but still beautiful. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Now there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. Just keep telling yourself that, guy rush. Three four. Ah. Lechuk, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end, with just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you alright? No. 
I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. Whatever. That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. Oh, nonsense. Give me 12 examples. <laughs> if you meant to challenge me, you should have gone for a larger number. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. It took way more than five minutes. I had to win a bunch of contests first. Yes, Odina told me your joke. Uncomfortable under the arms. Quite funny. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It's the contest of intelligence, not the contest of algebra. I proved my intelligence by cheating successfully. You are very clever. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. How many is that now? Four? Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. I used a pseudonym. How did you know it was me? My T Pirate. It wasn't hard to figure out. Doesn't everyone use that one? Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. He was already in the dark cave when I found him. So, to be fair, no net impact overall. Except for the key. True, but he wasn't really using it. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? It doesn't matter. It's just the finding part that counts. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? I hate mazes. We all hate mazes. I love mazes. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Eh, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. Thanks for the C-Map. That was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head-scratcher how that happened. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure, run off. Wally will be fine. Bombay, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. 
The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh, you two deserve each other. Yeah, that's right. Run! I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay, here goes. LaChuck, I'm coming for you! Damn you, Threepwood! I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once, I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. It's holding a mug. I'm naming it Captain Squint. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. relate. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. Chuck, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate Threepwood. The secret will never be yours. <gasps> Threepwood, won't you ever give up and just go home? Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. Only the observant pirate will pass. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swap.
LeChuck, the secret is mine! You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. The secret is mine. Third time be a charm, three weed. Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. It looks like its arm is hurt. It's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. This is gonna be a problem. There's no way I'm getting through there. those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies the detectives don't know where to start. One of the stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, Finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh no. Not yet. Glad you finally made it, kid. Well, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Skybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Fishing lures just like yours.
High Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, three minute walk. Additional I blame the government. Dang, Stan makes the Chuck better every time. The secret is mine. Each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge, but it's still LeChuck zero, Guybrush Threepwood six. The secret is mine. Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. Score! Free popcorn! The switch is locked. I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. Dang nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. This key doesn't fit. That never ends well for the knife. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? Have you done something new with your hair? It got ruffled in the fight. I like it. How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. Dad, that was a silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what it was. Your mom was right. It was better not to know. What was exciting for me was imagining the possibilities and talking about them with other people. All that would end if I peeked inside the chest. So I didn't. Mom, Dad won't tell me what the secret is. Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. <laughs>